guys and welcome to Embed Demonstrix. This tutorial will be the part 2 of the serial interfacing with PIC32 microcontroller. In the last tutorial, we tried to send some data from our microcontroller to the terminal. But in this tutorial, we will try sending some data from our terminal to the PIC32 microcontroller. So, I mean to say, whenever I type some characters like A, then this character A will be sent to the controller. So the hardware connection for this project will also be the same as in the last episode. I will be using a USB to TTL converter and I will connect the TX RX pins of the TTL converter to the RX and the TX pins of the IO expansion board. Now let's talk about the program for this project. You can get a copy of this program from our website www.embedmasterize.blogspot.com In this program, here I have defined a RX buffer this buffer will contain our all data which will be transmitted to the PIC32 controller and in this function, this function will send the data to the controller. So I will just build this program. Build is successful. Let's program our device. Programming is also done. Here you can see I have included this put as ur2 function. So what this function will do whenever I type a character like A so this A will also be reflected back in our terminal so let's test this program I'm using the doc light uh, com6 baud rate of 115200 press ok and shut out so let's say I type A so this A is transmitted to the controller and then controller receives this and transmit it back to our terminal. So that means our program is running. If I type S, D, F. So this was about sending data from our terminal to the PIC32 microcontroller. Now let's modify our program and try to control LEDs using these characters. That means I'll type some characters and will control the LEDs, external LEDs. So let's get back to our program. As you can see, I have defined the D0, D1, and D2 pins and set them to output. Now, here I have put some if conditions like if my RX buffer contains 1, then turn on the LED and put this message at the terminal. So, whenever I type 1, my D0 LED will be on and this data will be printed at the terminal. In the same way, if I type 4, then turn off the D0 LED and put this data at the terminal. Same goes for the rest of the LEDs, D1 LEDs and D2 LEDs. So let's build this program. Let me just comment these two lines. Let's build our program. So it's successful. Now let's program our device. So programming has been done. Now let's test our program. As you can see in the hardware, I've connected three LEDs to the IO expansion board. I'm using dock light as a terminal. Now I'll type one. So my first LED is on, two, second LED is on, three, and third LED is on. And you can see on the dock light, LED one on, LED two on, messages are displaying on the dock light. So if I press four, five, six, so you can see the speed of the serial communication here. So this was all about sending data, receiving data from controller to the terminal. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe and comment your views. Thank you.